So I want them to get comfortable with that idea of be okay not knowing. I'm okay not knowing. Find the answer. And the answer for me isn't going to be the answer for you. So I tend to teach in a lot of analogies. And the one I use when we talk about meaning making and social annotations is what's the best way to cook a steak? The answer is how you like it. And so that's kind of how I approach that idea of meaning making. This. Well, can I, can I say that? If it's your opinion, yes. <laughs> like you don't have to ask my permission for, well, can I, can it mean that if you can support it with information from the text, it can mean anything you want it to mean. And social annotations for me allow students to not just hear the teacher's perspective. I think a lot of times the teacher stands up and they say, this is this, this, that, and the other. And then does anyone else have another opinion? Well, I've already shared my opinion. So no one's gonna give another opinion because I'm right, they're wrong. We've all seen Matilda, I'm smart, you know, I'm big, you're small. And it's that concept. So social annotations allows people to go, hey, there are other people who thought that was strange. Or hey, someone else noticed that thing that I maybe would not have ever gotten to, but it helps them to feel a little less alone and their thinking and helps them see that there are other, other avenues of looking at things. So often it's here, let me tell you what's right. And it's hard to say, well, tell me your opinion, but social annotations is a very um, safe way to explore and kind of voice something where you can say it and if you're not quite right, it's okay. No one's gonna do the, <gasps> ooh, you. And I'm not reading it in live time. In live time, if a kid raises their hand and says something, I can be like, well, actually, but re writing it down, it's going to take a long time for me to get through that. I typically don't even look at them until they've been working for about 20 or 30 minutes, just so that I'm not focusing on like one or two people. I like to have a, a large number there. But a lot of times when we start, I won't include my annotations. That's for them. That's for them to explore their thoughts. And I may go through there and pull that into class and say, hey, some people said that you know, what do you guys think? Let's talk this through. I, you know, who agrees with this as opposed to me going through necessarily grading, you're right, you're wrong. Nope, don't think so, try again. And that's really freeing for them. And it's something that they have to learn because by 11th or 12th grade, they're very, very stuck on, tell me the right answer, tell me what you want, that's what I will give you. So social annotations, I'm able to bring in as a way of like getting them out of looking for the right answer. The right answer is what you can prove. And this helps them to see that in a way that's very non-threatening.